What's going on, Ant crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. Today, I've got a quick tutorial for you guys on how to slow down footage that wasn't shot in high frame rates. Today, we're just gonna be taking a 24 frames per second video and slowing it down all the way to 40%. Real quick though, I'm gonna head outside and try to get some new footage. You can use this effect on any kind of video that you want, but it works better for certain kinds of videos. So I'll show you guys how to optimize this effect and let's jump into it. So I'm at this park now and it's actually a beautiful day outside. I didn't think it was gonna be nice, but it's super nice. Oh, this stuff on my lens. I haven't been here in a while. I've been like just editing for the past like year. <laughs> That's what it feels like at least. Real quick though, this uh, this table right here, way back in the day, like probably like five years ago, I was here with my friend and this is the first thing I ever ollied off besides like, like a curb or something. And I just like rolled right here and then I rolled right off the side. I didn't do that, but I did like a little ollie into the grass. Whew, those were the days. All right, so the main thing that you wanna make sure that you do is you wanna come out and when you're filming whatever you're filming to slow motion, you wanna make sure that you film from a low angle and get as much sky in the background as possible. The reason being is whatever you're slowing down, you want to sort of be against the sky. That way it's super easy for After Effects to tell what's really moving and what's not. So I'm gonna take you guys right now. I'm gonna lower the tripod a bit. About right here should work. And now, so now I'm gonna get the footage and we'll see how this looks. I wanna get at least one other shot. Let me see. Let's think, Andrew, let's think. All right, you guys ready to see the worst handstand? Ow! The worst handstand in the history of handstands. Ah, ah. Ah, all right, that works. I was gonna try to get three shots, but it's cold, it's wet, and I need to get this video up. So we're gonna head back home and start editing this footage. All right, everybody, so I'm inside of Premiere Pro now, and I've got these two different clips, and I was gonna do both these clips, but they're so similar that it'll be kind of redundant, so we're just gonna be focusing on this backflip. I'll go ahead and cut out the audio real quick just so it's not annoying throughout the tutorial, and if you guys wanna download this clip right here, I'm gonna leave a link for it down in the description below so you guys can download it and follow along with this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and select the footage. We're gonna right-click and hit Replace with After Effects Composition. So we're inside of After Effects. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and change my quality to quarter, because this is gonna hurt your computer a little bit. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the time warp effect, just like that. The first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and change the speed back up to 100%. So right now it's just gonna play through normally. And real quick, we're gonna go over to our composition, right click on that and hit composition settings. And I'm gonna make the composition about 10 seconds longer, just so when we extend the length of the clip, we can actually watch it play out. So real quick, we're gonna go ahead and find where we want the slow motion to start. We'll play through and I'm thinking about right right about here is when we'll have the slow motion start. So we'll go up to our speed, we'll hit the stopwatch right there to turn on keyframes, we'll move it back a few frames, and then we'll change the speed to 50%. Now here's the deal, time warp is finicky. Just like warp stabilizer, just like track camera, it works great sometimes and other times it absolutely fails. So what we're gonna do is mess around with a few different options, a few different speeds, and see which one works for our individual clips. So the first speed we're checking out is the 50%. So we're essentially right now faking shooting in 60 frames per second. So we play this through. That actually looks pretty good. It's pretty smooth. It doesn't look too bad. With the motion blur, it kind of blends in and it looks pretty realistic. So that's not bad. Let's go ahead and try another speed. We'll go ahead and try 40%. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe this is just me being optimistic. I think that looks a little bit better personally. There's some weird frames like that, but with the motion blur, it's not too bad. Let's try 20%. All right, so that does not look good. That is a no-go. And finally, we're gonna try 2%. Now you guys might be thinking, Andrew, would you go so slow all the way down to 2%? Well, with Time Warp, with Twixer, with Optical Flow and things like that, sometimes, and I know this sounds kind of counterintuitive, but sometimes slowing it way down to just 2% or even lower actually works better for these effects. Not always, but sometimes. Let's see what this looks like. 
All right, so it turns out this is definitely not one of those times that does not look very good. So we're gonna go ahead and change it back to 40% because I think that was the best for this clip. Go up, check that out, boom. And now right here, I just wanted to stop in slow motion and start converting back to the normal pace. So I'm gonna copy these speed keyframes. I'm gonna paste them right here by hitting Control V on PC or Command V on Mac. You just paste those keyframes and then if you right click, go to Keyframe Assistant and hit Time Reverse Keyframes, it's gonna automatically reverse them for you and it'll bring it back to 100%. So let's play it through and see what that looks like. All right, so that's looking pretty sick to me. Honestly, that looks pretty real. But let's go ahead and mess around with a few of these different options. So the main one that I'm gonna make sure I do is hit enable motion blur. That's probably the most important. If we check that box, what that's gonna do is gonna help to smooth things out. All right, so I think that is about it for this tutorial, guys. That is looking pretty sick. And I shot this footage in 24 frames per second. So all things considered, I think After Effects did an amazing job slowing this down. We are able to slow it down all the way to 40%. It just adds a new element of interest to this backflip and it's just a useful effect and definitely comes in clutch every once in a while. All right, there you go, guys. That is what I'm talking about. That is how to slow down pretty much any footage inside of After Effects. Like I said, this effect is a little bit finicky. Sometimes it looks awful, but sometimes you get that clip and it just comes in clutch and slows it down perfectly. This is super similar to like Final Cut Pro's optical flow. So for any Final Cut Pro users out there, I know this was sort of enlightening for me when I switched over. But yeah, I think that's about it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. This video was a little bit different. It was a little bit more loose format than usual, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and as of late, Saturdays every single week. So be sure to tune in back here on Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!